Welcome back to Building Trust with Built Environments. We are going to spend some time today on codes and testing and their relevance to fire science with our resident expert, Jarrett Davis. Okay, Jarrett, fire is one of those topics that our audience finds complicated. Let's talk about it. Let's do it, Brie. Fire science and testing materials for fire resistance is definitely one of those product and code requirements that becomes complicated very quickly for both the designer of record and product manufacturers. It's actually referenced in several sections of the building code, IBC, which is the International Building Code, specifically in chapter six, seven, 14, and 26. But today I wanna to focus on chapter 26. Okay, um, why chapter 26? Well, chapter 26 of the IBC includes requirements for foam plastics. As we use more foam plastic insulation in our buildings, we need to consider what happens in the worst case situation. Oftentimes, that's a fire in our building. As you can see here, I'm holding a piece of foam plastic insulation, which is XPS in this case, or extruded polystyrene insulation. I also have a torch, so we can actually apply a little bit of heat and flame to this XPS and kind of see what happens. Do you want to see? I do, but I think I'm going to take a step back and let our expert do his thing. <laughs> understandable, Bree, understandable. There you go, that, that's pretty good, I think. All right. Okay, Brie, it's safe to come back now. Okay. Wow, that went up really quick. So now we need to plan our building design and materials in ways that mitigate damage when this happens, right? Right. This simple demonstration shows just how important fire resistance is with the products we use in buildings. Now in a larger demonstration, you'll be able to see fire flash over as well, which is quite exciting. <laughs> this large scale test, NFPA 285, is required in chapter 26. All right, well, you know, I would be really interested in being able to see one of those large scale tests in person. So, um, any chance? Bree, you know what? You're in luck. Early next year, we're gonna take you, along with our viewers, onto the full scale fire test lab. We're able to see one of these in person. It's going to be really informative. Oh, awesome. Well, you heard it here first. I can't wait to see that one myself, and I'm sure our audience does as well. So stay tuned for that video coming soon. And until then, like and subscribe for more videos. And if you have any questions about fire science or fire testing, send them into our teams at Built Environments.